I would read um, a section from this manual, uh, which is the older Attorney General's Public Records and Meetings Manual. Um, I know many of you have seen me hold this book up before. Um, it's online and publicly available. Um, so it really uh, is an incredibly helpful resource. And I just wanted to read um, one of the sections that uh, talks about the control of public meetings. As you all know, the COAB is a public body, and you all are subject to um, the public meetings law. The public meetings law comes from the state of Oregon, and like I said, it's in this book, and uh, available free to the public online. Uh, and so this is um, what it says about who has the authority to control meetings and what, what it means to control a meeting. So it says the presiding officer has inherent authority to keep order and to impose any reasonable restrictions necessary for the efficient and orderly conduct of a meeting. If public participation is to be part of the meeting, the presiding officer may regulate the order and length of appearances and limit appearances to presentations of relevant points. Any person who fails to comply with reasonable rules of conduct or who causes a disturbance may be asked or required to leave and upon failure to do so becomes a trespasser. This authority extends to control over equipment such as cameras, tape recorders, and microphones, but only to the extent of reasonable regulation. So um, I think the, the key points here are one, that the presiding officer by necessity has a great deal of authority and must exercise reasonable judgment in deciding how to control the meeting so that the public is in, in addition, the presiding officer has a responsibility um, to ensure that the participants, those of you who are on the COAP, um, are able to safely and efficiently conduct your business. And there have certainly been um, concerns not just in this meeting, but in other meetings at the city, and frankly in the nation, that the tenor of our um, political discourse uh, has made some members who are parts of public body feel unsafe. And so um, the presiding officer has a responsibility to ensure that the control of the meetings allows for the kind of public participation that I just described, but also balances that public participation against the need of those who represent the body to feel safe in conducting their business. So the first point is that the presiding officer has authority and has to exercise that authority reasonably. For the purposes of the COAB, your presiding officer is the chair of the COAB. Um, Kathleen Sadat is currently the chair. Um, and uh, in addition, the COAB, as a body, voted on uh, rules of conduct for its meetings. And those were the ones that Kathleen read at the first of the meeting. So um, those are the, the, the ground rules of the conduct uh, for this meeting. and. The failure to abide by those restrictions um, will result in folks getting a warning that they violated the rules of conduct, and then um, it can result in you being ejected from the meeting if you fail to abide by um, the rules of conduct. So the, the other side of this equation, of course, when we're talking about enforcement, is um, that the law always requires, because the First Amendment um, is a robust document, it requires that restrictions on a person's ability to speak, um, which can include the ability to film, um, that they have to be reasonable. And, uh, and so um, the things <coughs> put in place for this meeting um, are things like keeping some distance between um, the people who are filming and uh, you all as you go about your work, asking that filmers be in a particular location, and thank you all for being there, um, so that um, disruptions in terms of people walking around um, are, are minimized. Um, but again, these, these restrictions have to be reasonable, and uh, I think um, that's part of what uh, the value of this public body is, is that um, you all do need to hear from the public if you give them an opportunity to speak in a public comment period that people have a right to say what they want to say and they can be critical and they can um, disagree with you 
Uh, they can do that um, robustly. Uh, they can do that in a way that may offend you even. Um, but the First Amendment allows that kind of speech. What it doesn't allow is uh, for the speech, you can't regulate the content of the speech, but what you certainly can regulate is the disruption that it causes to the meeting. And so the security measures and the arrangement of the meeting um, has been uh, set up um, in order to uh, facilitate those kind of reasonable restrictions. So I know we're running late. I'm happy to answer any questions that the co-op have. Questions from the Yes. Um, the, the filming restriction has, has sort of been a lightning rod, and it kind of came out of nowhere. Um, and if I understand correctly, the Citizens Review Committee is handling the issue differently. Uh, at least at its last meeting. I don't understand why uh, people in the, in, the, in the audience are being restricted here. Apparently, they are not in the public meetings. Uh, first of all, it did not come out of nowhere. Huh? Oh. It <laughs> came from. Oh. But it was. Yeah, let the attorney answer. 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 Don't interrupt the conversation. So, you're breaking your own rules. What? Your own. Oh, uh, so, I'm, <laughs> this sort of a talk, I think, qualifies as a disruption. But, oh, but I want to answer. <laughs> I Say want to answer her. Mr. Stevenson's question. Say it to her. She was disruptive. The chair was disruptive. Be Laura, honest. It was the chair that was disruptive. Be honest. You're Be out honest. of order. It was the chair Laura, that was you're out of order. You are disrupted. It was I would like it if you would just I would like out if you would apologize for being disrupted. On your shit, maybe. For yeah. someone who hasn't been to any of these meetings, we don't even know what you're talking about. You're reading from this rules as I would just, I would just, just appreciate an apology. Madam Chair, following your rules. Appreciate an apology, Madam Chair. I'm asking respectfully. You interrupted the conversation. I think that Mr. Mm -hmm. Stevenson. I thought Mr. Yeah. Stevenson had mm -hmm. stopped. What do you need some background on the source no, of the no, change? Nobody asked that. No, I apologize like in kindergarten. There are people who would like the background, right. and the background is. No, no, she can do the background. She, she doesn't know the background. She's very smart. She, she does. She can ask the question. You know the so you are out of order, and if you will not comply with the rules, then I will expel you from this meeting. You're out of order, too. The word reasonableness, let's use that word, reasonableness. So I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, gonna I'm not sure what the goal is here. Wait, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to interrupt because, um, so I just want to make it clear that as the city attorney, I am here to provide advice to the COAB, and it is appropriate for the presiding officer to, again, control the meetings, and so it, it is not appropriate for Mr. Steenson having directed a question to me for the for, let me finish. Let me finish for the presiding officer to uh, what actually, if we if we're being very technical, which I think maybe it's appropriate, is Madam Chair, would you like for me to uh, answer Mr. Steenson's question uh, to the best of my ability? Well, if you know the answer. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. So I think Mr. Steenson, your question was um, it. The, the, the filming um, area has been a flashpoint, and your question was, it seemed to come out of nowhere. Can you explain, A, where it came from, and B, if it is um, a, a different um, restriction than at the, at the CRC meeting? Yeah, let me just clarify. When I say nowhere, uh, the COAP has had nothing to do. We haven't been able to weigh in or comment or be consulted or have any input on the filming restriction, and certainly the community has not, the public. And so when I say nowhere, it's maybe coming from somewhere, but it's either your office or the COPO. And that okay. feels like nowhere to me, and I think it feels like nowhere to the Okay, I understand what you're saying. So I think part of, um, I can answer the question two ways. One, in terms of the COAB as a body or um, the, the public weighing in on what um, reasonable restrictions might be in terms of filming, um, that's why I started out reading this because the presiding officer does have the authority um, and the chair of the co-op has the authority to create the restrictions around control of the meetings. That doesn't answer the, that doesn't answer the, your policy you question. The Constitution. Then it doesn't she answer the power. Mr. Walsh, you're out of order. Please. 
It doesn't answer your policy question. You're about out of order. Nevertheless, <laughs> whether whether the COAB or the public should weigh in on those, but just to clarify in terms of who has the authority to make the decision, it is clear that the chair as the presiding authority has the, has the ability to create those restrictions. But I think what I'm hearing you say is that in terms of determining the reasonableness of those restrictions, uh, it, it might be beneficial. You coward! It might be beneficial to have the don't go away, man. Just go away, Scott. <laughs> oh. What are you doing here? You're a disgrace! Once more, Mr. Walsh, and you will be excluded from the meeting if you continue to yell and to uh, disrupt the meeting. Get, get, get right out of here! Do you know what he called? Where is my security person? Really? 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 <laughs> In a, in a He's in the back of the room. Don't get a security. We're here because of the support. So, if you want to do what you want, there's a big and participate in a recess. Bob, Bob, you're out of order. I'm going to call a recess right now. Please clear the room. And Dr. Watson, you need to take control of this meeting. Don't go away, man. Yeah, so just go away. Stop the Dr. Rosenbaum and Dr. I would like for the board to leave the room, and I would like you to There is not a threat in the room. Just go away, Just go away. Don't go away, Sadat. Just go away. Exclude from this meeting. Exclude you. Laura Vanderhoel and Joe Walsh. What? No. They're gonna they're gonna kick this old man out that's on oxygen. What about God? You call the Jewish guy a white supremacist? Does he? Doesn't that? Huh?